Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make four different vegan burger recipes. I'm just going to hop right in because we have a lot to cover. The first thing I'm doing is making a vegan Worcestershire sauce. You can find the full recipe as well as the full recipe for all the burgers down below in the description. We'll be using this for our mushroom burger later. The first step is making our chia seed egg. We'll be using this instead of a real egg. So you want to combine two tablespoons of chia seeds and six tablespoons of water. And you're gonna stir this up and set it aside so it can become gelatinous. We're also gonna mash up our black beans. I just have a can of beans here. I rinsed them um, really well to get rid of all of the foamy water. And you're gonna mash them until we have um, some full beans left, but most of them are smashed at this point. Now we're ready to make our lentil burger. The first thing you're gonna start with is equal parts of lentils and black beans. Here I'm chopping some caramelized onions. You could use a food processor to combine all of these ingredients better, but I wanted to keep the recipe simple. I'm using a garlic press to add in some garlic and then I'm adding all of our spices. Like I said earlier, the details for all of the measurements and ingredients will be down below. You want to stir and combine all of your ingredients really well, and then we will use our hands to form some patties. After you form the patties, you're gonna to wanna to put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes at least. This is gonna help them stay together when we cook. We're gonna do this with every single patty. Now we're ready for our tofu burger. I am using a meatless crumble for this recipe. I'm using the ones from Trader Joe's, but there are several brands that make similar products. This adds in a nice beefy flavor without us really even having to do much, and it gives a really similar texture to a real burger. So after you combine your tofu and your black beans, you're gonna add onions and garlic again and all of your spices. And just like the other one, we will mix all of our ingredients well and form patties and stick them in the freezer. Here I'm adding just a little splash of liquid smoke. You can find this in most grocery stores, either with the spices or the barbecue sauce. It adds a nice flavor to the recipe, making it seem like you cooked it on the grill, which can kind of help with that meaty flavor that we're trying to get with these burgers. Gary loves every burger more when it has liquid smoke in it. <laughs> Up next is our mushroom burger. I am using portobello mushrooms in this recipe, but you can use any kind of mushrooms you like. I chose portobellas because they have a more intense flavor than other mushrooms, and I feel like they give more of a meaty texture and flavor to this burger. Before I brought it over here to this bowl, I sauteed the mushrooms with some of the vegan Worcestershire sauce that I made at the beginning of this video. This really helps it taste more like a steak burger rather than just a traditional veggie burger. And now I'm adding all of our other spices. I'm going to combine them, form patties, and put them in the freezer. And last but not least, we have our chickpea burger. We're gonna start out with equal parts of chickpeas and black beans. And this recipe is a little bit different than the other ones because we're gonna add in some veggies also. I added kale to mine. You could add in any kind of greens you really like, but I think the kale has a nice mild flavor. So once everything's combined and cooked and seasoned, you can hardly even taste it in there. I also made sure that I massaged my kale a little bit first so that it wasn't so rough. After I added in the liquid smoke and pizza sauce, I'm adding in our chia seed egg also, all the seasonings, and then we're going to stir it all together and form patties and stick them in the freezer. Now we're ready to cook. I have a pan over medium heat with just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add all of the patties and cook them for about four to five minutes on each side. I also have some bread that I'm getting ready. And all of my patties did fall apart. However, 
since I've recorded this, <laughs> I edited the recipes, so they should be okay now, and they should hold their shape just a little bit better. Another good alternative for ver veggie burgers is using a George Foreman grill, because you don't have to flip them at all, so they usually stay intact a bit better. Just a little tip. Hey there! So, I just finished making all of those burgers, um, and all of them fell apart. <laughs> Um, so my first tip for making a vegan burger taste like a burger is to dress it like a burger. So I'm trying all of these burgers with ketchup, mustard, vegan mayonnaise, and relish on there. Um, condiments and spices make a huge difference. So I think I'm going to try out the lentil one first. That's the only one that really like held its shape, even a tiny bit. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10. The amount of burgeriness of the lentil burger, it's about an eight. Next up, I'm gonna try out the um, fake meat soy crumble one. That one is definitely meatier tasting, but I totally expected that considering that the fake beef is already made to taste like beef. Um, so the lentil one is good. It definitely tastes burgery, but I would say that one tastes more like a burger, probably more like a 9 on a 1 out of 10 scale. Uh, I'm probably rating all of these too high. I've been eating veggie burgers for a while. <laughs> Alright, we'll try the chickpea one. So. The chickpea one is also delicious. It's definitely less burger-like, um, only in the sense that it doesn't have any kind of like beefy flavor to it. I would say the amount of like burgerness is probably only like a six-ish, probably. It's still really good though. I think the chickpea one would be really good if you had kids, because um, you can kind of sneak some greens in there. You can't taste them at all. I guess it would depend on how picky your kid is though, because I know some of them like. If they even see anything green, they freak out. And then the last one is the mushroom one. And this one's the one I've been the most excited about. Because this one had all that wo the Worcestershire sauce that we made. So I think it's going to be really good. That one was really good. Um, the mushroom one has that Worcestershire sauce in the mushrooms, and so it tastes really kind of like a steak burger almost. I can't remember if I put liquid smoke in that recipe, but if I didn't, I would definitely add it next time because it would just take it up to the next level. I'm actually going to eat another bite of that one. It was so good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you try out one of the recipes. If you do try any of them, let me know. I'd love to know what you think. You can tag me on Instagram at Mrs. Shavigan.